Hey everyone, this is Sean with Troxel Services and this is another five minute drive by for business entrepreneurs, a series where I am uh, doing segments and I'm actually recording this in the car. So there's a voiceover and uh, recording this while I'm driving and you'll be able to look at footage of our team in the field. And today's topic is when you start a business or even if you've been in business for a while and you're trying to grow to a million or two million over the course of four, five, six years, minus your cost of goods sold, uh, is looking the part versus being the part in terms of uh, what you're offering as a business. And I guess you as an individual. So let me give an example. So in, in my case, I own a landscaping company, but this can apply to other companies as well. So there is a big temptation out there to, uh, you want to start this business, you've saved up 10, 20, 30, maybe even 50 or hundred thousand dollars. And you're like, okay, we're going to start it. I'm going to leave my job. And, uh, we're going to start a landscaping company, a lawn care company, a landscape company. We're going to start off mowing lawns or we're going to expand from there. Or you might do a construction company or a window washing company or whatever. And so oftentimes what people do is they say, well, the first thing I've got to do is get a nice truck. Uh, doesn't have to be brand new, but you know, $25,000, $30,000 maybe. Get a used truck that's really, really good. <clears throat> get it wrapped all professionally. You know, get everything set up. Now, I'm all about setting stuff up that doesn't cost a lot of money, but um, let me just kind of cut to the chase on the point of this. You're, go- you're going to have to fight the temptation to not, to, wa- uh, to not waste money on looking the part versus being the part. So, you know, your main goal when you start off a business is to, yes, you've got to promote it, but do it in ways that are not costly. You can do that on social media. You can create a website, very cost effective for a couple hundred dollars. And, you know, you can create some nice looking, um, material, but you don't need a fancy truck. You need a functional truck. It could even have dents in it. You don't need to perfectly wrap it with the best graphics. It just has to look uh, professional. You know, do you want your customers to right off the bat, think they're paying for your, your truck? your new truck and, and the, and the wrap that you have around it. And, uh, do you want them to think they're, that you're, they're paying for an elite uh, piece of equipment when, when you only have 10 customers right now, you know, grow your customer base to 10, 15, 50, you know, 60, 70 reoccurring customers and like 40, 50 project based customers, uh, be the part before you look the part. And that's, that's the main thing. You know, I have, uh, I drive around in a quote car oftentimes uh, when I'm not directly in the field. I'm going between jobs or projects. <clears throat> and I drive around in a, in a 2010 Nissan Frontier. So, you know, just a standard pickup truck, not even a, a half ton, you know, truck that we have for most of our other rigs. And uh, there was a guy that I pulled up to. He had about 50 customers. And he was like, look, you're never going to be able to get into this nice part of town if you roll up in something like that. And I remember just thinking the flawed thinking there is that he was going for what looked good rather than what was good. Uh, he's no longer in business. I think he did good for, for a while. Don't get me wrong. But he's no longer in business. And I've, I've grown uh, the business uh, a good bit over the years. And so because we at Troxel Services, and I encourage you to do the same, We focus on being the part. Go get the customers first. Focus on execution in the field. Be good at communicating with your customers. Be good at quality of work. You know, and again, even with quality of work, you're not going to be 100%, but the competition is somewhere around 80% effective. So you go be 95 to 98% effective, you know, meaning you're going to do excellent uh, overall. If you have, uh, you know, complex jobs, you're always going to miss something small. But you make up for it by going above and beyond in some other areas. Be the part. Be the one that executes. You get a great reputation, a great word of mouth. Think about it like this, and I'll leave you with this. If you rolled up with the best truck and the best equipment, and you got maybe a higher price initially, but you you don't know how to execute well in the field because you haven't focused on that, not only have you wasted money, 
when you could have spent that money getting another crew set up and running with functional material, not only have you wasted money, but you've just raised your customer's expectations so high that you have not been in business long enough to be able to execute uh, those uh, deliverables to meet those expectations. So be uh, above the competition, but don't pretend like you're something you're not. Go be the actual service. Be uh, in the field who you should be when you execute and deliver a good product. Focus on that for the first couple of years. Not having a, a really nice truck, really, really nice equipment. Make sure it's functional. Definitely pay for that and be ready for to pay for repairs and, and things along those lines. But, you, but fight the temptation to uh, look the part rather than be the part. And don't waste your family's money that you could have spent on them uh, if you're going from like a uh, secure job and you're going to spend, you know, $20,000 more on equipment and marketing material. Just go be the part, get what you need, and then, and then go from there. Remember to subscribe and also comment below if you know what I'm talking about with this or maybe you've struggled with that temptation to... Uh, look the part and not just focus on being the part. So we've all been there. Uh, but yeah, comment below and I'll do my best to re reply to the comments as well. Hope you have a great day.